Hi, Mom. Yeah, Dad told me he was going witnessing this afternoon to take the gospel where it needs to be heard. You know, I really admire his ability to win the lost and nurture the found. Wow, he sure does spread love. Don't mess with me, you little punk. We both know this is just a den of sin. You got beer and cigarettes and rubber, rubber condoms. Right. Oh, don't forget this uh, wide variety of adult magazines behind here. Smut. Smut. Naked books. Smut. Right. Is that going to be all a drink and a bag of chips? How about a lottery ticket? Payoff tonight is $45 million. What kind of a fool do I look like? That is ill-gotten devil's money. I don't know. You could do a lot of good with it. This is all new territory for Pastor Tommy Householder. All right, peel me one He wasn't fully convinced he was doing the right thing, but he did like the idea of helping the church. How's this work? Helping out charities and getting a new truck. It's easy. You pick six numbers and watch the television during your local news and see if the numbers matched. You can sit at that table. I just cleaned all the smut off of it. All right, six numbers. There's got to be some way to do this. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Please be with Catherine as she continues her day. Please be with my sermon tomorrow on judgment. Let it be your words, not mine. And help me pick these six numbers so I can celebrate your kingdom. All right, now, let's see. We'll go with 33 for the age Jesus was when he died. Two for the number of animals on the ark, 12 for the number of disciples, 40 for the days in the desert, 67 for the number of books in the Bible. There are 66 books in the Bible. And nine for the number of toes on Catherine's feet. Thank you very much, Lord. Amen. Never seen a Bible in a store before. You've been reading and praying to your magic God in the sky? How dare you bring that thing in here? Save it for your church, not in here. Yo, man, I'll have you know something. In this world of lawlessness and jacked upness, where well-meaning things get canceled and silenced just because some thin-skinned, oversensitized bounty hunter gets offended, well, now, sometimes, sometimes I agree with it, but sometimes it goes too far. Just this week, my favorite show when I was a youth, growing up, Skippy the Squirrel, was canceled, was taken off of television because he hit a hunter in the head with a sack of acorns. Now, granted, there may have been a nut joke in there, but my point is, Everybody has the same rights. You have rights, Christians have rights. We all have the same rights. Now, if you will excuse me, I am gonna piss off the devil.